Hi guys, welcome to our channel Coding with Karthik. So one of the reason to make this video is so people are keep asking for source code for this uh, short that I created using Python Tattoo. So that's why I just decided to have one complete video on this source code and with explanation. So here is the video people like most of the people are asking for this uh, uh, for this graphics source code. So here is a bit. Let's get into the code now. Yeah, so I'm just going each uh, step by step so by that it will easy to understand so you can easily grasp what is going on with this uh, graphics and color system and everything right yeah let's start so here I'm importing the two models one is as you know like turtle and second is a color system to to generate the color uh, different colors with the gradient right so, yeah now first i'm just setting the screen screen size okay so that means i need some like whatever the python total output screen is so that needs to be like if, if i don't set the screen something the image will get cropped so that's why i'm just setting the screen to 800 to 800 so we can wait now i'm just setting the speed of the pen so by that we can we can quickly see the output so i'm just setting up the zero which is the maximum speed like if you want to have the slow speed you can set one and if you if you want to take the speed you can set two three four five ten like that but to set the maximum speed you can go with either ten or zero and next is i'm just setting the pen width to the two just to increase the width of the pen size now background color to black so by default it will get white color so but for this graphics black is very suitable so much suitable so but so that's why i'm going with the black color background now if you see this graphics i have like a fifth let's let's consider this as like flower right so we have the 15 petals and in each petal we have the like uh like each petal have the different color and again in each petal we have the 25 gradient colors of the same color right so that's why i'm just creating loop like see like for if you consider like red color petal it has the gradient color if you see the green color petal it has the gradient of the green color and side by side petal have some gradient i mean it is like transformation to the different color right so for that i'm going to create loop so by that uh, like i can i can generate the petals along with this gradients right now first it's up to you like either you can create first you can create loop for either petals or the uh, gradient of the each petal now i'm going for like each petal gradient first so range of 25 so because in each petal i had the 25 then you can increase this gradient that's not an issue right you can just do the trial and error so i thought okay this is a good combination with this uh two create this graphic so that's why just going with the 25 gradients of each color i'm now creating loop for loop uh, for like 15 petals okay now i'm going to create the pen color so using this one turtle dot color and to have like that color right so i'm using this one hsv to rgb so people are asking what, what is this method so this is basically we can convert from hsv to rgb color hsv is kind of which is like a range is basically uh, uh, we have three parameters each parameter ranges from 0 to 1 so if you give the more combination of these uh, from 0 to 1 it will it will create that color combination like it will create that color combinations of the gradient like with gradient colors so i'm just generating like since i have the 15 petals so that's why each petal should have the different color so that's why i'm just going with the i by 15 so the first parameter most represents the different type of color okay and second parameter is for the gradient of the color so that means what are the first parameter is so depends on that uh color so if you want to generate different part different gradient of that color right then we have to change the second parameter so that's why in each petal we have the 25 gradient color so that's why i'm just using the j by 25 so that means whenever this j values uh, keep increasing right so it will become from the 0 to 1 suppose if j values uh, 100 it will be very low in 0 something 
and if you go for j value 10 it will be a little bit more and if j value is 25 sorry 24 then the value is almost to the zero right so that's why i'm just increasing from the zero to one and next is and this is one this is something like the black shade of the color so i'm just going with the one black is some some gradient of the color so but basically we can focus on this uh first two things and it, it is the third value and the contrast of the color next is title dot f90 so now i'm creating the circle okay that means it is to generate that petal okay so to complete the petal we need two curves one is like uh, lower curve one second is upper curve so this is something uh this this circle is to generate the lower curve 200 minus comma 90 so ba basically why i'm giving this minus j into 4 right? when this j value is keep increasing i just want to decrease that like uh size of the petal so that means uh because we need 25 gradients so to show us a 25 we need to decrease the size of the petal so by that uh, we can see that gradient like in beautiful way we can see that gradient of the color right and next is so and i want to, so once we once we draw this up uh, lower curve i'm just changing that uh, uh total position left to 90 degrees okay and next position not position it's kind of what's the angle to the left 90 degrees and now next i'm just creating the upper curve so same 200 now now the that petal is complete now what we should do right to generate the next petal right we have to uh, have these petals in the circular manner right so that's i'm just creating again that middle circle small circle so by that when we draw the next petal it will like uh, the next petal will be aligned with in the circular manner so that's why i'm just using this right that means i'm turning this turtle to the 180 degrees to right side and next i'm drawing the circle a very small size so that's why i'm using the 50. so these things that you can just uh, change and you can see the how the output comes right so depends on that you can just adjust these parameters okay the circle radius or this inner circle weight and this number of petals in the grade this is all like up to you how you manage like it's all depends on the output it is getting right we can change that uh, parameter you can see the variance how it is reflecting as a output right now it's done so that's it because i'm using the, we are using it for loop so but it is very easy to generate this kind of iteration and i hope here you, you understand this line because we are we are generating 15 petals with the 15 like in each petal we are generating 25 gradient colors so that's why i'm using this this first one is the color code we can say the different color and this is kind of that shade of gradient of that each color and we are generate 25 gradients of in each petal so that's i'm using this j by 25 so and this one right and next is yeah, that's it i'm just hiding the thing now that's done okay now i'm executing this code let's see the output Yeah, this is how since we have given the like the speed to zero so it's, it's a bit fast so if you give one or two it will be slow like if you increase to the 10 either you can set zero or one for the speed to like to have the speed yeah it is how and yeah and i hope you have understood how it is generating this graphics and and also you can check my shorts if you need any source code for of the search you can just comment on that videos so i will just try to i will just have a plan and come up with some video and how like i hope it is very useful to understand how it is working right and yeah let it be generated completely yeah see it's like first it is generated the 15 petals like next like in each petal gen 25 gradients right it's almost done yeah yeah i hope you enjoy the session and uh, yeah and, and one more request please like share and subscribe to the channel and also like share to your friends and whatsapp status or anything so by that people who are more have interest in the python turtle so they can just check these videos and they can have some 
they can get some knowledge from me so yeah that's it yeah and also help me to like have the like content and to share to i mean uh to get more videos right just that's what just please uh like share and comment and also share to your friends right thank you for watching this video it's almost done yeah you will get just have this code and just run it and you will definitely get this output as expected thank you for watching once again bye bye